And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 gameplay. Uh, we are on the quest, The Breakthrough. Alright. So we're going to do some more main questing. Hopefully it... Um, we get through it pretty quickly. Uh, when I think an end mission's coming up, I'll just kind of stop for a little while, do some farming, try to do as much stuff, like side stuff as I can, and then I'll, you know, when there's nothing left to do, of course, end it. I have no idea how to access the Blood Ties DLC. I got it. It's installed. But I don't know if you got to do an entire new game playthrough, or, or you have to wait until you beat Dying Light 2 in order to access. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll figure it out as we go. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe button. Let's get into playing some Dying Light. Let's see where we end up. I think after this mission, I should go over here, get this done, and get this one done. Um, I'll probably have to go up top of this tower and fly over here to get to that airdrop. So, yeah, you, know, you get the general idea of those shit I gotta go and do. Too much stuff to do. Alright, so this is new. I've never done this before. Uh, where we last left off, the van went in there. I've never had to chase the van in the first playthrough. That wasn't a thing. So now you can see where I am deeply confused. Just sitting there the back. So we have to put one of our things into stamina. Do another one. Freaky. Advancing the main story beyond this point will trigger the Appalachian. Make sure to complete any unfinished business in the city before continuing. Oh dear. Alright, we're not ready for that yet. So that's the end game right there. Oh no. I wasn't expecting to get through it that quick. Let's do some exploring. <laughs> uh, oh no. That's, on, that's not good news. <laughs> You're sitting there, that's great news. I'm like, mm, not in my book. I want to know how the hell do I get on top of this. I'm guessing it's going to make me sleep off the night here. I have to jump over here and somehow get up that tower. Right, let's go fuck around with this tower. See if I can figure out how to access this area. Oh, okay, it's going to be in between the buildings. Okay, okay, I know what it is now. All right. I'll go do some of the side stuff real quick and get it to a point where there's nothing left to do and then we'll end it. That's my plan. Originally I was going to keep going with the main questing, but uh, well, you can see that obviously is not going to work. <laughs> uh, the end mission usually takes about an hour, two hours, so... That's why I'm kind of hesitant, because I don't have a lot of time left to play with right here. When I say I don't have a lot of time to mess around with, I got an event at like 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to go do. And what if that mission takes longer, you You just see the point. What 
if it takes longer. What if it, what if it pulls a Cyberpunk 2077 where it takes too damn long? Bun's building collapsed. Women and children trapped inside. All right, so I'm just kind of scoping out. Wow, it's actually going to be on the roof of that. Alrighty. So I'm going to go scope this out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to sleep there. Go across here. Run up there somehow. This is not going to be fun. I mean, if I can get a save point over here, I'll be happy. But I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I'm just kind of scoping it out, trying to figure out how the hell you get up there. Alright, I'm gonna try going up this way. up the right antenna and then I pull up the parachute and it lifts me up here. Okay. So that means I'm gonna have to sleep here. Run over here up the hill. <laughs> uh, this is not gonna be fun. Should be interesting. Wait, we forgot the sleep net off. Let's go fix that. If I don't do that, then I'm going to have some serious problems. Okay. Exactly what I didn't want to happen. Forgive it. Headshots. Okay, 
Okay, let them calm their tits all about there. Jesus. Trying to clear the area of the damn howler so I can't move. This is not gonna be fun trying to get to that one area, like I said. Stupid zombie, screw off. I'm more concerned of what I'm going to face going up this hill. Okay, bunch of zombies. Alright, so I can put them out here. Should be good enough. That's a lot of zombies. Alrighty, let's just go. Alrighty. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just gonna walk over here. Flourish lava.
going to be like, the main quest is right there. I'm like, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I'm ready. Inhibitor container detected. Alrighty. So let's see here. Fast travel here. And I could do this one. But I'm more scared about going to that one because even though the house is right here, you have to walk through a pathway up here and there are mines over here. <laughs> Alright, let's fuck around and find out. I'm gonna respond here. Oh, let me. Hi. But oh boy, I don't get mauled. You don't see me? I'm flying. I hear now. <sighs> Whew. Well, I'm telling you, it's refreshing to meet someone who's not a coward. Care to see what we hunters have to offer? They have bolts. I'll admit I should be doing it, but I can't do everything myself, so I'm counting on you. Hope you'll get the mark. That's easy to do. Hunt the hag? No. The problem with the hunt the hag is you have to find that one. Remember to expect the unexpected when you're out there. <sighs> oh, fire. Fire bad. See me. Just 
fuck fit forest that might have landmines in it. Not frightening at all. He's on the Ow! Okay, buddy. Ready to party? One thing I don't like when you kill the boss over here, he uh, just spawns the body and drops the loot into the body pile here and you can't get to it. So annoying. Uh, chemical storm in the pros. Walking on chance. Uh, so I, I, I've been screwing around. I was waiting for a video to upload earlier. And I'm like, oh wait a minute, I can run a fire stick and not need a Prime account apparently, and I can still have my Netflix app. I'm like, all right. I'm still gonna make a new Netflix account just this way. I don't have to worry about being logged in other devices without me knowing about it, so better to be safer than sorry. So much crap you have to go through. So let's say I love, let's say someone in your family dies and you you live with them. Like there's so much crap to go through. You have to go through all the bills. You gotta go close on the credit cards. You gotta go and if they have a Netflix account, you can either retitle it to you temporarily or close it and make your own. Like there's so much crap to go through. Alrighty. Uh something big's been here already. What are these? All right, so we'll make it daytime again because there's nothing in this area that we can do that's a nighttime related thing that I can see at the moment. Like there's these, but I don't really want to go in there. Uh, yeah, we'll go up here, we'll propel down, we'll make it daytime of course. We'll go try to check these out. I don't know what those are. And, like, it, it won't let me look it up with the binoculars, so I just don't know. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure these are just all side quests that we've already done before. I'm pretty sure of it. The only thing I've seen different is the storyline. Uh, what's this? That's a new location. That wasn't there before. Definitely have to go up there and check that out. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that we can do while it's nighttime for once. Oh, not really. Alrighty. I mean, there's probably more locations. We don't have them shown yet, probably. So... Uh, question marks are means spots that have not been visited and the binoculars you, ha you know, like you haven't seen so uh, I think we've done all these all right so our next goal uh, we're gonna go here next so I want to go here hmm 
está. If I take a nap now, I'm not gonna wake up until after the event that I'm supposed to host. Um, I have a virtual event to host at 9 or yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if I go and take a nap now, I'm gonna be waking up at 9. I don't want that. Hi. That to clear. One hundred and one. Just look and see where this journey will take me. Gonna turn to a zombie. Thanks. They almost killed me. You deserve this. Usually, when they make all that noise after that green shit comes out of that bandit, turn into a zombie usually. My me, I'm just gonna walk through here. There's never here. I don't know what you're talking about. It was never here. Oh, hi there. Oh, you're really dead. And that's really sticky mist on that. Got some of him on my shoe. The elevator is just politely at the bottom here. It's the long elevator right up. Get this real quick. No, end this video. <laughs> We're getting a lot done today. Regarding dying lines, it's like holy crap. All right. So I need to go right here. Just trying to. I have no idea where I am. I'm right here. So 
That's the tower I'm seeing now, and then there's that one, and then there's this one. I think I'm maxed out in stamina now. Let's go over here real quick. Uh, I'll try to s search it up. I'm not sure. Says there's something down there, and I don't see how the hell you get down there. Like, unless this is like DLC content that they released for you to buy, but then delayed it. Like, that's the only thing I can think of right now. It's saying it's under the map. Now yeah, on the equal, equal terms with me, I'm just kind of like, what the hell? There's question marks down there, but it doesn't say why. <sighs> your, your guess is, is equally as mine. I have no idea. Kind of looking around to see if there's anything else that pops out as something that's not a side quest that hasn't been done yet, basically. Now, regarding the hag and that kind of stuff, it's so time consuming. It kind of reminds me of Destiny a little bit right now. So with Destiny 2 and Des originally Des Destiny, they would give you these weekly challenges and it would just be another way to keep you playing the game, basically. Keep you interested, allow you to get OP stuff and then they would nerf it later, basically. That's what the, um, that little update they did where you now have to go hunt the hag and get these samples and stuff, that's what it's reminding me of. And... I just simply don't like that. I mean, it's a cool idea, 
but still, it still reminds me a bit of Destiny and Destiny 2, where you have to do weekly challenges in order to get other stuff that's unique, and I'm just like, eh, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm gonna go take a break for a little while. I'm gonna go think, hmm, do I want to end this series here and start up, fire up the PK one? Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and probably go to each one of these wind mills, even though I have them lit up already. I think I'm going to go to each one of them and show how to get up them, just so it's there on record for those that are still trying to climb them. Most people have already made tutorials on those, but eh, can't hurt. Anyways, let me get to a safe house. Uh, where do I want to go? I'll go back here for now. I'll go save. I think I should do a bunch of farming, level up all my gear as high as I can get it. It just makes things so much easier. Mm. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button. I'll see you guys again in the next video. It will probably be side questing most likely, just uh, you know, get everything maxed out as far as I can get it. I'm going to go look into how do you access the Blood Ties DLC. That's what I'm going to go look into right now. Anyways, I'll see you guys again in the next video.